Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, they tell us that we have actual velocity data for a lion pursuing prey, and they show it in the figure right here. And for part A, they want us to give the initial acceleration of the lion. So we have a velocity versus a time graph. So to get the acceleration from that, we need to find the slope of the line because the slope is equal to the rise, which is velocity, over the run, which is time. And if you remember, the formula for acceleration is velocity over time. So that is why we need to find the slope for the line to give us the acceleration. So don't judge my drawing skills on the problem. I redrew it here to give a, a representation of the figure that they gave in the book. I'm going to be using the actual numbers from the graph. The one that they gave is more accurate than mine. What we're going to do is we want to take a tangent line of this because it's not perfectly straight. So if we take the line right here and extrapolate it up, we have roughly speaking 10 meters per second at about two seconds. So for part A, we have the acceleration, the velocity we said was 10 meters per second over the run, the time, which we said was basically two seconds. So what we're going to have is meters per second divided by second or meters per second squared. So we have five meters per second squared for the initial acceleration of the lion. So for part B, Let's extrapolate right up here. So at this spot, we're going to draw a tangent line. That's a terrible tangent line, but you get the idea. So again, I'm using the numbers that I got right off of the, the graph and they agree with what they do as well. And I checked all the numbers, so they're they're all correct. If you remember, we have the rise in the run, but we all it's we could also write it as the change in the velocity over the change in time which another way of writing that is V final minus V initial over T final minus T initial. So now when we plug in the numbers, the final velocity will take it right here, which is 14 meters per second. And then the initial velocity we said is six meters per second. And then we're going to divide that by four is our final time minus the initial time is zero seconds. So that gives us 14 minus six is eight meters per second divided by four seconds. So eight divided by four gives us two meters per second squared for the acceleration of the lion at two seconds. All right, so this tangent line is gonna be like that. Uh, all right, again, don't judge me by my drawing ability. So we have V final for this one is going to be 15 meters per second. Minus the initial, we're going to say is 10 meters per second. I know it's not really great the way I drew the tangent line, but that's where it crosses. And then we're going to divide that by the time, which we said is six seconds, because it's basically about right there for six. And then it will be subtracting the initial time, which is zero again, zero seconds. So we have five meters per second divided by six seconds. And then if we plug that in, we have five six is the same as 0.8. So 0 0.8 meters per second squared. So the, the lion's acceleration is slowing down as it's um, attacking the prey. So now for part C, they say, what is the distance traveled by the lion between zero and eight seconds? So for this one, what we have to do is find the area underneath the curve. And since this line is truly actually a curve, we have to estimate. So if you think about the squares, the area of one of these squares is five meters per second high or, or five units high by four units wide. So one of these squares is essentially 20. So we have one, two full squares. So for C, we have two plus this one we have this one and this one, we could say it's basically about one. So this is roughly a half and this one's roughly a half. So we have one, two, three, four. So estimating, we essentially have four squares. And we said that each one of the squares is 20 units, right? 20 units. And so four multiplied by the 20 units gives us 80 meters for 
an estimate according to the graph of how far the lion went from zero seconds to eight seconds.